how a reduced pressure principle backflow prevention device assembly, RPZ, protects against back pressure backflow and back siphonage backflow. Principles of Operation Presented to you by Jimmy Backflow Productions If the device is in a flow condition with back pressure, the pressure downstream of the second check valve is greater than the supply pressure, and if the first and second check valve are operating properly, the first and second check valves are closed tight. Since the zone pressure is less than supply pressure, the relief valve is closed tight as well. Supply pressure is keeping the relief valve closed. This device is still providing protection. This device is in a flow condition with back pressure. Back pressure is being introduced into the system. The first check valve was followed open, but the second check valve was closing tight. Since the water pressure in the zone is equal to supply pressure, the relief valve will open. Water will continually discharge from the relief valve when the device is in a backflow condition and the first check valve is followed open. Since the second check valve is closed tight, it is preventing non-potable water from entering the potable water supply system and the device is still providing protection. This device is in a flow condition with back pressure and the second check valve was followed open, but the first check valve was closed tight. Water will continually discharge from the relief valve because water pressure in the zone is equal to supply pressure causing the relief valve to stay open. This device is still providing protection since the first check valve is closed tight. If this device is in a flow condition with back pressure and both check valves are followed open, water will continually discharge from the relief valve. Water pressure in the zone is equal to supply pressure causing the relief valve to open. This device, however, is still providing protection. If this device is in a flow condition with back siphonage and both check valves are holding tight, water will discharge continuously from the relief valve until the water in the zone is depleted. Atmospheric pressure is pulled into the device through the relief valve port creating an air gap separation. The pressure in the zone is now atmospheric. Since the first check valve is holding tight, the pressure upstream of the first check valve is subatmospheric. The second check valve, since it is closed tight, is preventing non-potable water from entering the potable water system. The pressure downstream of the second check valve is positive. This device is still providing protection. If this device is in a flow condition with back siphonage and the first check valve was followed open, but the second check valve was closed tight, water will discharge continuously from the relief valve port until the water in the zone is depleted. Since there is no water pressure keeping the relief valve closed, the relief valve is open. Atmospheric pressure is pulled into the device through the relief valve port and back through the followed first check valve, creating an air gap separation in the piping system. The zone pressure is subatmospheric, as is the pressure upstream of the first check valve since it is followed open. The second check valve is closed tight and is preventing non potable water from entering the potable water system. The pressure downstream of the second check valve is positive. This device is still providing protection. If this device is in a flow condition with back siphonage and the second check valve was followed open, but the first check valve was closed tight. Atmospheric pressure is being pulled into the device through the relief valve port, creating an air gap separation in the piping system. Since the zone pressure is greater than supply pressure, the relief valve is open and non-potable water is discharging continuously. Since the first check valve is closed tight, the device is still providing protection. If this device is in a flow condition with back siphonage and both check valves are followed open, non-potable water will discharge continuously from the relief valve port as long as there is a positive pressure downstream of the second check valve. The relief valve will be in an open position since there is no water pressure keeping the relief valve closed. Atmospheric pressure is pulled into the device through the relief valve port and back through the followed first check valve, creating an air gap separation in the piping system. 
The zone pressure is subanthospheric, as is the pressure upstream of the first check valve, since it is fouled open. The second check valve is fouled open, and the pressure downstream of the second check valve is positive, causing a non potable water to enter the zone. Since the relief valve is open, this device is still providing protection. The end. This production was developed and presented to you by Jimmy Backflow Productions. To obtain education credits, CEUs, go to www.ceuplan.com for online training.